I try and fly at least one time a week on our flights. And when I'm on board, um, you know, sometimes I wish I could just uh, sit back there and watch TV and relax like everybody else is. But I, I make a point to let the customers know that I'm on board the aircraft and that I um, also let the crew know that I'll be serving snacks and helping them. So they call me Snack Boy on the airplanes. <laughs> and, and, you know, it, it's a pretty grueling thing to. Um, yesterday, I caught the 8.30 flight from New York to Las Vegas and was spent um, probably on that particular flight. It took about three hours to get through the cabin. You know, speaking to each individual customer, um, thanking them for their business, soliciting questions, and talking for three hours straight and uh, spending, spending the time doing that. And then going in the back and then answering all the questions of all the crew members and listening to what they have to say. And when you, just, just for point of information, when I say crew member, um, every single person that works at JetBlue is a crew member. Uh, we don't have employees that work for JetBlue. We only have crew members. And we don't have um, passengers either. Um, we only have customers. So we don't refer to, to customers as passengers. So to be able to spend that time with the crew members and then kind of make my way to the front and then listen to the pilots as we kind of make, make approach into Las Vegas. And then went to a conference and spoke at this conference. Uh, spent some time um, talking to some investment bankers that were there and some other travel executives and then flew on to Long Beach where I spent some time with our crew members and then made it into Oakland late last night and then spoke to our crew members there. We were able to go out on the ramp and shake everyone's hand and thank them for all the work they do and then made it in late last night. And then today obviously was another grueling day. But it's, it's a lot of hard work but it's, it's really rewarding. And uh, so if I s seem a little bit tired then it, uh, you know, excuse me for that. but. Uh, you know, I'm passionate about JetBlue, and I'm passionate about what we've been able to accomplish in a, in a really bad industry.